हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टी फाइव आई एम बेस पांडे माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो फुली इट वुड बी द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज द करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देन विल प्रोसीड फॉर द चैप्टर नंबर फोर फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट वी आर सक्सेसफुली जस्ट कंक्लूडिंग टूडे द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री हेयर we are in lecture number 45 of chapter 3 current electricity okay my dear student we have studied all the topics we have discussed we have covered all the topics that are very important for your board examination and that is mentioned in your ncert all right so we have discussed the uh, topics which are in our course the one topic it is left the electrical energy and electrical power that will discuss today that is very important and we'll do some uh, questions remember this particular topic you have studied in your standard 10 also and it was very interesting in, in standard 10 try to recall that you used to calculate what will be the electricity bill uh, at the rate of 4 rupees if you, your consumption of electricity of electrical power it is a uh, 10 unit or the 20 unit i hope you uh, able to recall uh, that such type of question we have done okay my dear student so uh, uh, today we will not do uh, such type of question but we'll do some uh, question of our label so first we are going to start with the electrical energy all right it is electrical energy to understand this electrical energy uh, let me discuss with a very simple thing my dear students okay that i you uh, i adopt this particular concept from uh, a teacher i'm telling you and this was very uh, fantastic that's why i'm discussing over here the one resistance it is connected with the source of emf that is the battery or the cell the resistance is r all right here the plus and minus my dear student this battery used to work for the resistance and to study the energy or the work we know that we we have study in electrostatic chapter what is work done by this battery actually this battery leaves the charge and that charge do some work at some potential okay if the potential of this battery is v all right then what will be the potential at this point of course you will do uh, you will write zero sir yes exactly and at this point exactly it will be the zero but what will be the potential at this point it is v exactly and at this point the potential is v where this potential has been gone while moving across this resistor yes actually the potential drop across this resistor that's why you are again having the potential zero over here as you are moving across the resistor you can see the potential drop across the resistor that's why you do have the value of v the same it was at this point my dear student suppose a charge start moving from here it is the charge q okay what is the energy of charge over here it is the q times v we know that but the potential is zero it means the energy is zero here the energy is also zero but as we move from this point to this point this charge is full with the energy and what is the amount of energy at this point it is q times v you can write here the charge times potential it is q into v yes and what will be the energy over here the same because no equipment over here that's why the energy remains same it is the q times v all right but as you go from this point to this point what will be the energy actually where this energy gone the q v becomes zero actually this energy is uh, just withdraw by this resistor and that energy that we draw by this resistor we have to study in this section okay and that is the electrical energy actually this energy lost on the resistor remember this energy lost on the resistor and that energy we are going to study uh, this energy uh, the well discussed by the joule 
uh, and uh, uh, that has been mentioned in your course like the joule uh, as the joule's law okay we will discuss here before the joule's law let we find here the formula for the energy that is the this energy which is used by this resistor uh, often uh, used as the heat energy okay might be if this is the bulb or the mechanical energy all right so i'm writing uh, we are writing the joule's law this is the resistance battery resistance are the current live by this battery or voltage v all right now suppose as this switch is on the very small amount of charge dq start flowing through the circuit remember without flowing without flowing the charge or without study of the conventional flow of charge flow of charge we cannot study the current that's why i have mentioned over here the charge all right and we know that about the we know that work done it is what is work done actually it is charge times potential suppose the very small amount of charge and such type of small amount of charge continuously sent by the battery over the resistor actually this charge become current and this resistor used as the current all right now this dw is dq times v using ohm's law we know that v is equals to i r so we can write here the dq is equals to i times r could we write here the i times r yes very simple and we know this dw we know very well this i is nothing but the dq by dt we know na so dq can be written the i dt all right write down here d w is equals to d q it is i d t times i r it is i square r d t now integrate to get for a particular time you started this cell switch on this cell at 0 second after t second you want to find out the energy that is stored by or the energy used by this resistor my dear students then you will get integrating this dw i is constant remember here the constant current is maintained i is square r is constant so the dt at 0 second the energy was 0 at t second suppose the energy if it is bulb then it is used in form of heat so we can write this one as w dw it is h and i square r times t so this is the heat energy i hope you got this is i square r t now now what was the joule's law actually the joule's law very was very simple it was according to joule what joule experimentally find find that found that uh, if you will switch on a battery the heat radiated by this resistor remember this heat radiated by this resistor depends on three things this heat depends on this current as the current will up here the heat will up as the resistance will up this heat will again up and the time will up the current a uh, heat will again up but there is a certain relation that heat depends upon the current as the square all right and linearly on the resistance and time this was the joule's law according to joule the heat the amount of heat radiated by any resistor directly proportional to the square of current resistor and the time for which the current is being flown through the circuit this is the joule's law that is not very difficult all it my dear student now uh you will use uh 
this particular formula to solve such a few question but before that we uh, shall discuss uh, uh, about the power electrical power my dear student remember this amount of heat which is radiated by the electrical bulb actually whenever you will ask to find the energy of any bulb or if you are ask you have been asked the question which bulb will glow more it means you have to indirectly ask to find the heat radiated remember all right yes now electrical power and what will be the si unit of this heat of course joule because this is energy now electrical power we know that mechanical power also but we are talking about here the electrical power okay my dear students and electrical power we have discussed that work or the energy work or the energy the energy we have also discussed it is a q times v all right we have discussed now if you have maintained a resistor at some potential what will be constant charge will start flowing from here but v remain constant all right differentiating this w dw by dt and d q v over dt this is the rate change of work what is the rate change of work so the rate of work is called power so this is nothing but the power and this is q dv by sorry v the constant na v dq by dt what is dq by dt yes it is current so the power will be v times i very simple one all right now you can just convert this one in the different form also power its si unit try to remember it is watt the gems for the uh, scientist for the respection of his name we use this watt as the si unit of electrical power now you can convert this power in three way using ohm's law using ohm's law that is the v equals to i r can you replace this i yes we can replace by v by r so the power will be v times v by r it is v square by r so you are having a formula for power it is the v square by r this is the very important okay and this is very important and you must remember this formula the one formula you got here the v times i the second one you got v square by r now the third one could you replace this v yes you can replace this v by i r so this will be p equals to i r times i so this power will be i square r okay so we are having a formula p is equals to i square r the another one this is all other very simple my dear student i hope that you are getting everything now uh, let me do some other very simple question okay but before uh, doing that question uh, one topic it is left let me finish the chapter first and then after we will start the practicing over the questions i think it is the last class because i am not getting any more questions to solve that you feel difficulty okay so the next topic is efficiency of a cell that is the uh, source of potential okay efficiency of a cell what is the efficiency of cell actually what the cell do for us actually cell deliver the power it gives the output as power so whenever you will talk about the efficiency you have to correlate the powers what you have give, what the battery has given the power and what the instrument got the power actually it means uh, using that power what that instrument did as output 
so efficiency we know that efficiency is nothing but the output by input output by input what we have input and what we got as output this is the efficiency the percentage if you want to find then you will multiply by the hundred percent it becomes the percentage efficiency all right here now it is very important to discuss if you are talking about the cell the efficiency of cell you have to draw a cell this is a cell suppose the internal resistance of cell is r and the emf of the cell or the voltage is v we should write the emf yes now this is the cell all right connect this cell with a load resistance like bulb fan anything this is the r load resistance what current sends by the circuit that is the cell it will be i okay what we have to find actually we have to find the output power by input power now the input and output what is input and what is output output will be obtained across these two point let me write this is a and b so efficiency we can write here the the energy all right the uh, or you can write the um, i think uh, yes you can write the energy and that is the e or the power the power across ab divided by and divided by power of cell power of cell this is the power i think all right now try to look at here the power across the terminal ab it will be the power minus power lost that is the energy lost at this point and we can write n as here it will be the ei the current is i minus current is i square r okay divided by power of cell power of cell it is it was e times i now you can find the formula the simple formula could you find the i here i is nothing but the e by r plus r i think so the efficiency will be 1 minus this one divided minus i square r by ei i will be cancel out and it can be written the 1 minus um, i r by e r by yes r by e now you can put the value of i from here okay so it will be e by r plus r times r by e e will be cancel out and then this is 1 minus r by r plus r and finally r plus r minus r will cancel out and you will have the answer this is r by r plus r so if you are having the resistance of the circuit and if you are having the internal resistance then you can write the efficiency of a cell in this way so this is the efficiency of a cell my dear students okay now let me do some very easy question kindly note down i'm giving you a circuit all right and you have to find the energy this is uh, example the very simple question I'm giving you. I used to give very simple, simple questions so that all a student can solve. Uh, let me connect a battery. All right, and uh, this battery is for 12 volt. Okay, resistance 3 ohm, 6 ohm, and this is 4 ohm that's it if this battery is switched on for two minute how much time for two minute 
then you have to find the heat radiated by all these three resistors in that two minute you have to find the heat by this all resistor in two minute this is your question my dear students okay try to solve if you can solve pause the video and solve this question this is 12 volt remember it might be the signing due to the flash of my phone the camera that's why i'm telling you it is a 12 volt now let me solve this question first try to find out the current what will be the current so here the current will be total voltage by total resistance now what is the resistance 6 and 3 these two are connected in parallel so 3 6 3 will be 2 6 3 is 18 divided by 6 plus 3 9 so 18 by 9 it will be the 2 and then this 4 will be connected in series so it's 2 plus 4 it is 6 so the current is 2 ampere now 2 ampere current is moving all right at this point how much current will reach 2 ampere so how much voltage will drop across here 2 fours are 8 volt 8 volt now how much potential left over here the answer is 4 volt 4 volt i hope you understand now you have to find the uh, energy suppose we are writing uh, this is as h1 this is as h2 and this is h3 all right so the h1 all right so h1 will be the what is the formula it is i square r if you have the current across here it is 2 ampere how much current was here 2 ampere and the current over here the voltage by resistance 4 by 6 and here the current is 4 by 3 very simple now current h1 i square that is 2 by 3 it is i square r how much it is 6 t how much 2 into 60 in second joule answer the very simple no? h2 the current here 4 by 3 that is the uh, 4 by 3 i square r is 3 and t is again 2 times 60 joule and s3 it is i how much 2 i square r how much 4 into t 2 times 60 joule i hope no students left with any doubt over here now the next question for our practice may i rub this okay So, my dear student, the next question. You are having three bulbs connected in first series and then in parallel. Three bulb, suppose first connected in series. We are discussing here the question for series with a source. Okay, with any source. Uh, here this bulb this bulb and this bulb b1 b2 and b3 the rating of these bulbs are given the bulbs have been given the rating what is the rating rating it is 100 volt 100 watt at 200 volt this bulb was made for b1 b2 200 watt Mm, what is let me do mm, 40 50 watt at 200 volt and the b3 it is made up with mm, 60 watt and 200 volt you have to apply at 200 volt this is the source now the question which bulb will glow more if those three bulb are connected in series the question is which bulb will glow more 
and the same question I will change if this three bulb will be connected in parallel then which bulb will glow more okay the one question I will solve and then after you have to solve this question by yourself of parallel now look at here the current here it will start moving and current remain same I'm gen I'm solving by taking general values all right here the current is I now which quantity remain constant my dear student could you tell me yes it is current because voltage will drop at each bulb and it may be the different because all the uh, bulb are having of the different power but it is very important to find the resistance of the bulbs we know that p equals to v square by r all right so you can see all the bulb are made up with the same potential otherwise you can find out you can calculate the resistance also but you can see here for the same voltage p inversely proportional to r okay so higher the power higher the power the smaller will be the resistance it means it is quite clear from this relation what r1 of bulb 1 because power is lowest so the resistance will be highest and then r2 and then r3 all right now which bulb will glow more what more what does it mean it means which bulb going to radiate more heat this is the question actually okay and we know that the formula for heat because all the bulb will get uh, current or voltage for same time so the t remains same time is going not to be changed so the t remains same so the h is equals to we know that i square r t now students will argue that sir v square by r t we are having this formula also for h yes my dear friends of course but you can see here the voltage get by all the bulb will different remember this is not the voltage 200 actually this was the rating of bulb in company the bulb was made with made up at 200 volt to maintain the power as 40 watt remember my dear student okay so now look at here the potential are the different that's why we are using the current because we are having the current same in all three bulb so we will use this formula all right using this formula my dear students you can see this h is directly proportional to r why because i and t are constant h directly proportional to r higher the resistance higher will be the heat okay it means h1 will be greater than h2 will be greater than h3 so this first bulb will glow more okay and then this second one and third one will glow less okay so this is the answer now you can solve this question by applying that the if these three bulb are in parallel then what will be the uh, glow of this three bulb which will glow more in parallel now write then here a uh, homework my dear student I'm getting frightened sorry yes I need I have to switch off my fan while making this video my dear students so that you will not get any noise one two three and four these are the four bulb all right and it is connected with a source it is connected with a source or v all the bulbs are identical listen carefully the question all the bulbs are identical you have to arrange this bulb according to brightness more which will glow more first then after that and then after that and then least one you have to arrange all the bulbs according to their maximum brightness okay now one more question 
all the bulbs are identical remember identical it means it is made up with the potential suppose 100 and power is 40 then 140 140 140 all right this is now the third one uh, okay next yes third question because one it was if three bulb will connect in parallel which will glow more and the second and now the third question okay you are having two rated bulb one it is 100 watt uh, 110 volt and the second it is 50 watt 110 volt all right if you connected this two bulb in series okay in series listen carefully the question in series with the source with the source of uh, just like 220 volt okay source of 220 volt you find one bulb brushed now the question which bulb will brushed and why okay if you are connecting in series now the same question if you connect in parallel okay with the same source 220 volt you find one bulb get brushed now again you have to tell me which bulb and why that will brushed okay so my dear student today we are concluding this chapter number three of current electricity my dear students this is all about today lecture thank you my students